Scattered across all seven seas, the UK Overseas Territories hold some of the most important marine environments on the planet. From colourful tropical Pacific reefs, to those of the Indian Ocean, down to the freezing waters of Antarctica, and the rich waters of the sub-Antarctic. In all these places, the marine life is spectacular. Lost in the vastness of the Pacific, the territory of Pitcairn is made up of several small islands, each surrounded by coral reefs, Off Pitcairn itself, shoals of brassy chub congregate over exposed surf-swept ridges. In more sheltered areas, corals provide homes for a colourful assortment of fish. Two hundred kilometres from Pitcairn lies Henderson Island. It's been uninhabited for several hundred years, so its reefs have had a chance to recover from fishing. In crystal clear water, there's an extraordinary diversity and abundance of fish. Half a world away, in the centre of the Indian Ocean, the Chagos Archipelago makes up the British Indian Ocean Territory, more than five times the surface area of the UK mainland. It's made up of seven huge coral atolls. One, the Great Chagos Bank, is the largest atoll in the world. This is the cleanest water on the planet, supporting exuberant growths of coral. On the Chagos Atolls, there's coral growing on coral growing on coral. And the complex three-dimensional structure of the reef provides shelter for an amazing diversity of fish. More than 800 species have been recorded here so far, about a quarter of all the kinds of reef fishes on Earth. All these reefs are now part of a marine protected area, the largest no-take zone on the planet. And that protects not just these spectacular shoals, but some fish which are found nowhere else but here. The Chagos anemone fish, which lives amongst the tentacles of large anemones, immune to their stings. And it's not just fish. Large schools of dolphins race through the clear waters. Over 15,000 kilometers to the west, the islands of the Caribbean territories are much more heavily populated. And the reefs here are more threatened. Big fish, like these Nassau groupers, have been heavily overfished. Even so, a few days after a full moon, they still form spawning aggregations. Impressive, but a fraction of what once used to happen. These aggregation sites need to be permanently protected, as they are some of the last examples of large group of breeding aggregations that occur anywhere in the Caribbean.
8,000 kilometers from the warm Caribbean, in the South Atlantic, lies the remote territory of Tristan da Cunha. Ocean currents here create rich seas. Offshore, forests of giant kelp can reach over 40 meters in height. They shelter large shoals of fish, like thigh fingers. And some, like this Tristan Ras, are as colorful as fish from tropical reefs. These fish are prey for subantarctic fur seals. In such rich waters, there's plenty of food, and so plenty of time for play. South again is a land of ice, the British Antarctic Territory. Surrounded by waters so rich that humpback whales migrate all the way here from tropical breeding grounds to feed. waters to tropical reefs. The waters surrounding the UK overseas territories abound in life and protect some of the most important marine environments on Earth. The Britain's Treasure Islands book explores the unique wildlife, cultures and history of all of the UK overseas territories. Visit britainstreasureislands.com for details. In sincere thanks to Lord Ashcroft for funding the donation of one copy of the Britain's Treasure Islands book to every secondary school across the UK and her overseas territories. Thanks also to all Kickstarter backers and all sponsors and partners for making the 40 mini-documentaries possible.